Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back at the Range Rover Evoque and I've came across a secret menu. Stay tuned. So I've been having issues with my DAB. The signal is pretty poor. It drops off all the time. I've been playing about. I figured the first thing I should do is a system upgrade on this. The firmware is probably outdated. I've had this car for about three years now, so I've never did it. So it's at least three years out of date. It's probably a hardware fault, but I figured update the software and that'll probably be the first step in looking at this issue but there has to be a way to see what version you are running now i've been through all these settings even the settings on the side here and for the life of me i am not able to find anywhere that states what firmware version what software version is currently installed on this unit so i was playing about with the usual you know hold the volume button or turn the volume up by pushing over buttons turn it off by turning it on press and holding buttons along the side press and holding some of these buttons such as extra features nothing was working but I knew there must be a way to figure out what version you're currently running on your car now you can use stuff like this this is basically a diagnostics machine and that will probably tell you somewhere in the settings I would imagine for those of you that don't have access to a code reader they must be a way on here to find it I did a quick google and of all things it's actually this top left here the valet button so if you press the valet button this will bring up a screen allowing you to set a pin once the pin is set the system is locked you have to unlock it using the pin so to access the menu you press and hold the valet button it takes some time it's about 15 seconds just keep your finger press down it will beep and then the screen will be shown to you This is what they are calling e-mode. So this is your menu. What is interesting is that the actual signal strength indication and the battery notification is different. And also we have the Jaguar logo at the top right there. So you can actually do some stuff on this. Now I've used the touch calibration just to see what it was like. My touch screen is okay, but I just thought it'd be interesting to see what kind of settings I have on there. But the one that I was interested in is software version information and there you guys go you can see that the current version of software installed is 3782 underscore 121019 now that means nothing to me so i will have to obviously google this could that be the 12th of october 2019 now that's only just over two years ago i'm sure i've had the car a lot longer than that so that actually might be irrelevant that actually might be not correct but normally if I see a number like this that would be the software version and that would be the date but I will look into this it's good to see this because I can now google this and if that comes up with people reporting issues with the DAB and upgrade works then that's uh, the path I will take there is an option down here for software download not too sure how that actually works I'm connected to my mobile and my mobile has 4G so I don't know how I would activate that. This is all pretty new to me. I've not really messed about with it much. One thing I did do is this touchscreen test. So this is testing the touchscreen itself. Now it's pretty funky because you can basically just play about. However, I do not know how to get off this. The only way I know how to get this off is to turn off the engine and restart the car which isn't ideal there probably is a shortcut but i just don't know so to get out of that screen what i did is press the power button quickly and then double tapped and it came back so if that is how we get out i'm not too sure it worked for me i'm not going to go back in because that took a while to figure out but that is a weird you'd think there'd be a back button but they've took it off i guess obviously you need to test the whole screen so maybe this has helped you guys out if you guys like me are wanting to find out what version you have installed then this is the way to check without using a diagnostics machine so there might be something else in this screen you guys find useful but for the time being guys thank you for watching like always please like subscribe comment down below and i'll see you in the next one